Hey, poppers! Uh, we've had this old timber that a lot of people have seen. And I have a friend here who is... Owen Ledbetter, and wood turner. A wood turner, and you do beautiful bowls out of our um, timber. Yeah. And like you took from this old beach here, um, what was it, about two years ago or something? Or is yeah, it three years ago? Two years two ago. Years ago. And you've sold, have you sold all the bowls yet? Mostly, yeah. Most of the bowls from our timber. Yeah. So you are now gonna be chopping this. In, how do you do it exactly? Do you, uh, you cut it in what I call coins, but you might call them something else? I'll cut it to the diameter of the bowl I want, which is about 40 centimeters. Okay. And then I'll cut that ring into slabs. I'll probably get four slabs out of this one. Oh, wow. And each slab will be one bowl. So you, what I call biscuits or cookies or coins, yeah. you do that, but the bowl isn't... No, the bowl comes from the side of the tree, not, so the, not from the rings of the tree. Not from the rings, so the yeah. sides of the tree. And this has beautiful fungus in it and a big old nasty split. So what would you do with the end of this here? Well, the, the, the first about 10 centimeters, that's just going to be waste because it's all going to be cracked. It's going to be firewood. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that always happens. Yes, it's a routine yeah. kind of thing. Because it's been down so long. And if this split that's, that's fine. here... I can work around that. You know, I can uh, get the bowls from this side of the split and this side of the split. Ah, very good. So... No, that's not a problem. And do you think you will be using most of this log or just aspects of it? Or you don't know yet till you open it? Uh, yeah, you don't know until you see inside. And what it looks like. It's in. Oh, very good. Okay, well, I, I look it's forward... Gonna be nice. Oh, you think it's going to be nice? Yeah. And well spalted. Yeah. And what is spalting exactly? Uh, it's a fungus that goes through the wood. Yeah. And it causes all these black lines. Um, that is in some of your bowls beautifully. Yeah. I mean, they look like abstract paintings, some of your yeah. bowls, because of the spalting. Yeah. And is this, do you think this is the fungus that creates the spalting, or is it a different kind? Or you don't know? Um, I mean, it's fine if you don't sure know. I'm not sure about that, but I definitely know there's little black. It's, Let's that see. The oh, the this, these here yeah, are yeah. those those black bits. Yeah, that would be so a fungus. That would be a fungus, and this is a different fungus. And then this is algae. No, yeah. not algae. Le lichens. Leech, le le lichen, lichens, mm. leeches, whatever you yeah. want to call them. Sorry, I'm being daft. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. But oh no, it's oh, not. No. It's very it's surface. Not too bad. It's very surface. Oh, and look at the life that's in there. All the slugs, look at the worms. So that is soil creation. For those of you who are interested, the trees are part of soil creation. Look at that. There's worms. It's amazing that worms got that high up. I would think, look at that. Look at all the worms and life. It's amazing, the spiders, wood lice. Look, there goes a rabid very fast wood louse. Anyway, okay, I will leave you to cutting some of your coins and then might come and look and see what some of them look like and their spalting abilities. But um, so this is going to go um, today thanks to Owen and his bowls for the moment anyway. We'll do some looking more later. Look at this. There's a worm there's a millipede or centipede right there. There's the um, wood lice or potato bugs, whatever you want to call it. And that is something very interesting. I wonder what that is. Oh, those are eggs. Those are eggs. I wonder what kind of eggs they are. Oh, look, baby wood lice. So those must be wood lice eggs. But we are going to make something sustainable. Beautiful wood bowls out of this timber. So that those of you who would love a bit of tree life from this tree, from this farm, can buy one of Owen's beautiful bowls. Or you also make, what's the other thing you make? 
it's uh, the coffee, coffee <gasps> that are really, really beautiful. And have you made them out of our beech trees yeah. in the past? Yeah. Oh, good. So for costings, they can have a small bowl, a large, beautiful salad bowl, yeah. or a beautiful little coffee scoop. Yeah. And they'll all be from, there'll be a lot of them from here, but you have them from other trees and other areas. Yeah. And bear, bear, come here. Are you going to be climbing on this one last time? Come on, bear. Yep. Good boy. <laughs> yes, the tree climbing dog. <laughs> Ah, so you didn't have to trim much of it off. <gasps> and it is so beautiful. What does it look like here? Yeah, really nice. Oh, beautiful. And the split doesn't look like it's going to go much further. I mean, it might go to about yeah. there. Oh, I love that smell. Since my neck injury, uh, and I'm waiting for it to heal, I haven't been able to do any... Um, chainsawing or woodwork and that's a smell I love making my own firewood etc so that is gonna look those are gonna look heavenly really really beautiful is it is that gone pulpy a little bit just there. oh a little bit yeah, right at the top that'd be okay because most of the bowl is down here and here oh wow that is gonna be so beautiful and that's all hard But maybe you can cut to avoid yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I see you've got another break. A, a, a wood break so that you, they don't, it doesn't roll away on you. Yeah. <laughs> so you've gotten pretty far along. Yeah. And you were saying this, is this the first one? That's the first one. Yeah. This is the first one. So the crack doesn't go all the way through. Oh. Maya, are you trying to climb the tree? Silly pup. So it just, oh, it does go all the way well, through. There's always a heart crack that goes from side to side. It'll go all the way up through the tree. It'll, and that's from the fall or something like uh, that? The fall or maybe drying, like the wood will always crack from the center. From the middle outwards. Yeah. So it looks, and that looks like a spider crack. Yeah, and we're actually coming down the tree from up to down. Oh, yeah. It's getting more even. The crack is getting more even. Yeah, so I'll cut that out. And I'll get, like, a boil slab here and a boil slab there. But even the, the ends and stuff here, I can make coffee scoops. From oh, yes, of course, the bits. coffee scoops. Yes. And look at the... I, I love this. You've got... We've woken up some snails, some beautiful... Look at that yellow snail. Some gorgeous snails. Um, no, it's looking great. And what do you, um, you were speaking just now to my father about, what do you do scooping them out? That's a particular yeah. kind of lathe or something? Yeah, I have How an attachment it... for the lathe. And yeah. I scoop out a medium bowl from the large bowl and then a small bowl from the medium bowl. So, so you... I get three bowls from one... one slab. Yeah. So you scoop out a big bowl. No, sorry, you... Yeah, I turned the big bowl. Yeah. And from that one, I can scoop out the medium and the small. So you can do three. Yeah. So of those slabs with your board that you were doing. So if you did a yeah. thing there, yeah. that yeah. you could scoop out and make three bowls out of the one cut. That's right. <gasps> cool. Oh, that's very cool. Does, is the curved blade of a saw blade? Is that... It's just a little uh, metal tooth. A little bit sharpened tooth. Wow. That'll, that'll make the cut. Yeah. So, but you have to go in gently yeah. over time. I mean, how yeah. long does it well, take you? For... Uh, I don't know. Maybe like five minutes to scoop out. Oh, it's that fast? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, less. The modern mechanics, rather than what were you using the turning blade with your foot and some rope and some twi the, the bouncy thing? I can't remember what those lathes. What are those lathes called? When you, the uh, pedal with your foot. Lathe. Pole lathe. Yeah. Is that what you used? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your language, Daddy. <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't exist in my day. No, it did exist. You just never used it. Yeah. 
Because the pole lathe is the one that you do by hand. I use the lathes that did it from two ends, like you're making a, a chair leg or something. Oh, like okay. That. So a different thing altogether. Yeah. So you... you, you... I did it when I was less than a teenager, so it's really a disturbing length of time away. From when you were last <laughs> doing using yeah, a wood lathe. Right. And is this... This here, this is the fungus we were talking about yeah. that creates the spalting. Yeah. So that's interesting. So it's not the other fungus. Oh, it's looking great. And they're looking really beautiful chunks. So how many bowls out of those four would you envisage? Uh, at least it's a dozen, isn't it? Two, Two sets. Well. Two sets from each ring. So that wow. would be... So how many to a set? Four or three? Uh, three in a set. Three in a set. Got, so like three a, fours is 12. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. Slabs. So four fours is 16 then. Yeah. Wow. That's, That's great. great. And these will all be uh, for sale on your website, which is? Eventually. Own Eventually. Ownleadbetter.com. Oh, there you go. And But, but people, if they request for Black Sheep Farm, uh, bowls then you would know which ones they are yeah. yeah excellent and the dogs are having a great time in the sawdust i don't so know where the puppy's gone when you take these to your studio do you have a way you put them up in the air so to speak do they have to season a bit more now that you've cut uh, no i'm gonna turn these tomorrow into rough turned bowls yeah and then they go into my kiln yeah. And it takes about eight weeks to ten weeks oh. to dry them. To dry them. Okay, yeah. that was my question. So you don't dry a chunk. No. You dry no, the turn. It, it'll just rough crack. Bowl. Yeah. So what you want to do is turn the bowl to a thickness. Yeah. That it won't crack, but right. it'll dry quick enough. Yeah. yeah. So will yeah. these be ready wooden for Christmas? Ceramics. Oh, sorry, sorry, wooden <laughs> ceramics is a very good term. So will these be ready for Christmas? Yeah, I hope so. Ooh, good. The Christmas sales. Look at this. Honestly, excuse me, don't be rude. This is a family video. <laughs> anyway, that's, um, it's going to be sad to see the log go, but I'm glad it's going to be a very productive uh, future life. And hopefully many salad bowls and fruit bowls. Is this one too far gone, the, the one below? Um, it might be, yeah. yeah. It has a really big crack all the way through yeah. and it's very decayed. Yeah. So we might allow that to decompose into the soil because we've disturbed loads of soil builders in this log alone. So that one can have a lot of those people in it. I did rehome a few snails. Well, I'm glad to hear you rehomed a few snails. I should probably rehome these two snails here. This one's making this one's making a race for it. Here, I'll rehome you. So a thrush can have you for its lunch. Oh, look at who's having a lovely time digging a hole. <laughs> okay, those are rehomed there. Digging underneath. There must be a vole or a something. Oh, bear. Definitely got another two rings. Yeah. That's great. Two more on this little bit here. Yeah. At least. At least. Maybe three. Or maybe some um what are they called? Uh coffee scoop sections. Yeah. No, that's really good. Excellent stuff. Bear, are you gonna miss this tree? He says, I'm gonna miss this tree. Oh now he's like, you're gonna pay attention to one dog, you have to pay attention to me. Bear, you're such a piglet for attention, aren't you? You sweet boy. Here's Owen about to use a cool piece of kit. What do you call this apparatus? Uh, that's called a felling bar. A felling bar. Yeah. And you've rammed it through with a wedge yeah. down the bottom. Oh, there's, excuse there's me, there. I gotta pick this up because I don't want a felling bar to fell a puppy. See, there's a concrete brick, like right underneath where the cut line is. Okay. And I don't want to hit it with my chainsaw chain. 
That is a very good plan. So I've cut most of the way through and I'm just going to try and crack it. Okay, so let's see, how does that work? Oh yeah, and it works. Perfect. And that's a break. Who needs a gym, you say? Perfect. That is a wonderful apparatus. Oh, and here you've got a wedge. Are you about to do this one as well? Uh, Where the wedge is? Yeah, or I might try and cut a bit more because I... Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. That one needs to be cut more. That needs more cutting. Okay, I thought we were gonna have some fun here. <laughs> Me watching, that's the fun. <laughs> You're doing all the work. <laughs> no, they look fantastic. Is there cement under there, do you think? No, there's just this one brick. Oh. A stone. It's a stone. Oh, oh look, I good thing you found it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It could have been put there as a break. Hmm. Ah, it's a break. There you go. Yeah, you don't want to hit that with the chainsaw. That would damage you and the chainsaw. Or rather, damage the chainsaw, which would then damage you. Okay, dogs, you got to leave him be. He's going to now do some chopping stuff. Come on, pups. Now it might work? Maybe. Okay, here we go. Oh, beautiful sound. That's an amazing sound. And that's done. Now, time to load your Timber coins. Isn't that right, Bear? Your jumping tree is going. <laughs> Inca, get out of the way. And they're not that heavy. Inca, come on, move. Not too bad. Very handy. Um, too bad. Yeah, who needs a gym? Oh, and you don't want to smash the back of your van. Perfect. And the robin is very pleased. You can see him chirping because you're exposing lots of soil for him to get lots of worms. Look at them, they're telling everybody. You can hear all the robins are chatting to each other. Hey, cool guys. The human boar has exposed soil for loads of worms. Perfect. Well done. This is the last, what I like calling coins. What are you going to do with this last one? I'm going to cut it up into slabs. And so... Each slab is going to be a bowl. Is a bowl. Yeah. Or a series of bowls. Yeah, a set of bowls. A set of bowls. Oh, and you've already measured it out. Yes. So it's um, an edge 
One, two, yeah, like three, sure four. This is going to be waste. Yeah. Or maybe something. Yeah. But I'll definitely get one, two, three, four slabs. Maybe something from here as well. And that could, could be, be something well. like um, coffee spoons, scoops. Yeah. And the middle bit you're eliminating. Um, yeah, most of it. Because it's got a split in the middle of it. Yeah. So each one of these, like I'll get, I'll probably make the bowl this way. So you'll get kind of that shape. Oh, very good. Probably maybe a bigger one here. There'll be another bowl and all these will be cut into squares. And from each square, I'll make two coffee scoops. Ah, so that's the coffee scoops or the off, yeah. off cuts from the bowls. Yeah. Coffee scoops or salad spoons or citrus juicers, whatever. You know, I like I use salads. Everything. So you make, how big are your salad spoons? Are they, or salad scoopers? Uh, they're. Are they the small kind of hand no, ones? Like a, like a, a salad. salad. Oh, a sorry. good salad yeah. size scooper. Ooh, yeah. I like the sound of those. And this one, I don't know, I might even get two bowls. Oh, wow. Maybe. And then that last one, you'll get one bowl. Uh, maybe. I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> you will once you've done it. Yeah. Excellent. And also that makes it easier to load this into the van because yeah. all the rest of it has been taken, except for the scraps left for our fireplace. Excellent. is beautiful the patterns in that is just gorgeous so beautiful you're gonna have some gorgeous bowls out of that yeah you too oh yeah Give good guy oh yeah and some salad scoops too yeah. definitely
definitely these bits like that's perfect it's so beautiful i mean it is like abstract paintings the spalting is just so gorgeous oh those are going to be some beautiful bowls yeah they are absolutely was it this top yeah, that you I hit th what might so, have been yeah. a nail or the bit of wire yeah so you can use the wedge for that one maybe or something yeah. it could have been loose timber vibrating but it sounded yeah, more no. metallic it's definitely something in there. there's something in there To give, it another go. give it another go and see what happens and we'll stand back just in case <laughs> <laughs> absolutely come on ink let's stand back come on good girl <laughs> I think that does sound like something yeah. metal in there. And you hit it twice. Yeah. yeah. And even from this side. Even from that side. So it could There's be something. old fence post because it's a very old tree. Yeah. Couldn't the axe make a beautiful wedge? Oh, you got a wedge. Yeah. No, he's got a wedge. But this is, it's sad because it might do your bowl damage. Um, no, because I think up here. It's solid. That's perfect for a bowl. Oh, okay, good. Except for the woodworm. Except for the wood. Shh, say nothing about the woodworm. <laughs> Now this is going to be curious to see what is in there. Now, what was making that noise? to be at the bottom of the cut, wouldn't it? Yeah, but there's nothing there. Weird. There's nothing there. But it definitely, and it also, it looked like you felt it on the chainsaw as well. Yeah, yeah. and it was cutting a bit slower afterwards. Yeah, so whatever it was, there's something in there. There's no scarring back here. No. Okay, are you gonna? Hey, Inca, come back here. Ah, look, there it is. It was a nail, so I wasn't wrong. So that it must have been a fence or something nailed on there that bit of metal yeah you can see the damage it did around this the, all that different kind of mold well there we go my my ear is still attuned to uh what a chainsaw sounds like hitting metal so some things i guess you never unlearn Has it done anything interesting to the wood? Not really, yeah. but you can see the damage that it's done historically around it. And all that I'd say is from that as well. So. At least it was just one nail. At least it was just one nail, exactly. But uh, my ear is still attuned to that bad scary sound because Janie Mac you can lose your chain on that and then you don't know where it's going to end up. Phew! Does it wiggle out? 
Yeah, I think so. Uh oh. We can see if it's hand forged or. Ah. Oh. No, it's not hand forged. That's a modern nail. Yeah. It's, there's where it fractured. Right yeah, it there. fractured there. Yeah. And that's and where there's still some in there. That's yeah. probably from the chainsaw, that little bit there. Yeah. So, so this must have been, what, a 10-penny nail? Something like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you don't want to hit that with anything on your lathe or anything. Nail. <laughs> <laughs> you want the souvenir? <laughs> there, you can have a souvenir. <laughs> So you, you you made log cabins at one stage, did you? Well, actually, I made retaining walls. What we did was, it was like, it, there was a big bank down to a lake. So we dug out a whole wedged area and then walled it on three sides and overhead so we could store canoes and stuff like that in it. And where was this? This was up in New Hampshire. In the 19... 1945 to 1950, I worked there. Ah, making... That was my summer holidays from school. <laughs> <laughs> was working, making log cabin and retaining walls. Yeah, amongst other things. They're a lot straighter than usual because... Yeah. Oh, yesterday I got a new chainsaw bar and a new chainsaw chain. Oh, and we nearly n n bollocksed it with a nail in the middle of our tree. Well, we did. <laughs> but I can sharpen it. You can sharpen the chainsaw. Or the chain, yeah. But, um, so there are a lot, so normally, you mean your like thing one. was bent? Yeah. Your, your, um, the bar was... Oh, just a little worn out, so you got a curved cut instead of a straight cut. So these are lovely and yeah, straight. considering what you did, that's a beautiful straight line there. This guy's got a little wave to him, but not yeah. much. Well, I think that's the wave because of the... Yeah. The nail, yep. isn't it? No, it's not. No. Oh. It's a different one. No, the, it's the wave because the nail was down here somewhere. So, this one has some dopey bits, some very spongy bits. Yeah. And so, that's not due to woodworm, that's just rot, isn't it? Yeah. That's good old fashioned. But this is where it was on the ground, wasn't it? This yeah. was, this is all where it was on the ground. But this is good, not here. So, you can make lots, you can make a few spoons or scoops. Yeah. So a lot of it will be used. Maya is completely transfixed by the um, wood lice. She thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread is chasing wood lice. Don't you? You're loving chasing wood lice and following them. So, no, so you've got a good lot there. So that's the last thing to load up onto the van and you're done for the day. Well, no, I have to go home and process it all. Well, oh, sorry, yes, that's true, that's true. But you'll have stuff from well, this ready for Christmas. Keep the, the big fellows from rolling. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of wedges. Yeah, no, they're wedges in the van. But you're absolutely transfixed. You're having such fun. They're both enjoying the wood lice. Oh, the last piece. Is this the last piece? Yeah. It's spoon worthy. It'll be coffee scoops and spoons. So that is the old beech tree, done and dusted, at oh. this stage anyway. So you were saying these are different chainsaw chips. Yeah. So you get the long stringy ones. When you're ripping. When you're ripping. Which is cutting down, maybe straight down the tree like this. So this is the exterior trunk. Yeah. And you're cutting into the trunk. Yeah. Straight down to the center core. Yeah, rather than a cross cut, which is down this way. So which is with the grain and which is against the grain, as they say? Uh, this is with the grain. You get long, stringy shavings. Okay. And then the cross cut. Against is, the grain. Which is normally like just straight down like that. You get so when smaller. you're chopping a tree down kind of thing. Yeah. That's against the grain. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, the two across different the grain. across the grain. Yeah. Okay, with the grain and across the grain. Yeah. So that's with the grain. Yeah. Got it. 
And then <clears throat> this stuff here. Yeah, across the grain. Across the grain. Little small chips. Small little chips. It makes a big difference. There's our pile of kindling. And that's you done.